Subscribe to our YouTube channel to become a part of our growing YouTube community and to learn English effectively. Guess what? Paul and Susan are engaged. Really? When did that happen? A week ago? They met last summer and now just sync. They will be married soon. Have they set a date for the wedding? No, not yet. But Susan says they'd like to get married in November or December. Then they'll go to Hawaii for their honeymoon. You have a nice apartment. Thank you. My wife would be very happy to hear this. She must have done a lot of work on it. You bet. Why are you always staring at Melissa? Do you like her or something? Mind your own business. Do you have the day off today? How come you're not at work now? I don't have the day off. Our labor union is staging a nationwide strike today. All of the workers in our department are supporting the labor union by participating and not going in to work this week. Are you serious? Why would they have to go to such extreme measures like a strike? Doesn't your company have a pretty good corporate image? I'll bet the folks at headquarters are going nuts over something as serious as a strike. It happens quite often, actually. Whenever there arises a dispute between the union and the executive group, the first thing they do is to call a strike. Usually it only lasts a day or two before both sides can come to an agreement and we start work again. Anyhow, it's a nice, unanticipated holiday. Do you two know each other? Yeah, we were classmates when I was in university. Thank you for coming to see me off. Not at all. If have time, I'll come again. You're welcome at any time. Thank you for your hospitality. I hope I didn't cause you too much trouble during my stay. You're most welcome. I'm afraid I have to go now. The plane will take off soon. Call us as soon as you get home. If I won the pools, I'd go round the world. Would you? I wouldn't. What would you do? Oh, I don't know. I'd buy a big house with a garden for my wife and kids, I suppose. But it's difficult to imagine having a lot of money. One thing's certain. If I had a lot of money, I wouldn't work anymore. Wouldn't you? What would you do with all that spare time? As I said, I'd go round the world. What would you do after that? Oh, I don't know. It'd take me a long time to go round the world. It doesn't sound very exciting. Anyway, we haven't won the pools, and we're not likely to win them. So there isn't much point in talking about it, is there? I'd be happy if I got a rise. And my wife would be happy if I bought her a mink coat. Well... I'm not likely to get a rise and you haven't the money for a mink coat, so let's come down to earth and have another drink. What'll you have? I'll have a pint of the best. I'd have a scotch if I were you. We deserve it. All right, make it a double, will you? How about having a cup of tea with us? All right, that's very nice of you. Would you like to go to the cinema with me? I'm sorry I can't make it. Thank you anyhow.
The man behind your mother must be your elder brother. Yes, he was 29 then. He looked his age. Hi, Lucy. What are you going to do this weekend? I have no idea yet. Do you have any suggestions? Would you like to play tennis with me? I'd like to. Be sure to get to the sports hall at 9 o'clock on Sunday morning. Okay, will do. Happy birthday, Alice. Here is a little something for you. Thank you very much, David. It's an excellent birthday gift. Actually, I have a passion for Chinese literature. You do? Yeah, those classics from the great writers. But I find Japanese ones better. Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials.